Everything I can find suggests that yes, it's an act of war. Uh, that's a shame. Okay. Thank you very much for checking for me, though, chat. I really appreciate that. What? Um. Why are we in. Oh, God. Okay, I guess we're in a fight then. Uh. I guess. Not ideal. Balls. Very much not ideal. God. Uh, that will do more damage to them than me. Because they're warriors. finish them off or I can let them attack me give us a strength bonus and both of them will probably die on me you're definitely gonna go down but I did lose everyone in that fight at this point it is guaranteed death of both of us uh, so annoying because it just got pulled into a fight that I wasn't aiming for but there we go. I lost three units, they lost two, and I lost more important units. More to the point. That was a much better engagement for them. That was rough. The world is full of new opportunities, is it not? Oh yeah, now you want a non-aggression pact. No. I'm happy to consider what more we may do together. Oh no, they they did attack me. Okay. But yeah, the, the issue there was there's only two places I could deploy, and it wouldn't let me deploy my healthy unit first, which was really quite rough. And then there probably was some sort of mechanic for it. I just didn't know what that mechanic was. Um, I'm going to refuse that one. Once again, you show how inadequate you are. As you see fit. And... Uh, we're gonna hold off on that. But I do now need to bring this group back, which is kind of a massive pain in the ass. But it is what it is. Again, that was a far better engagement for them than me. Because they took out a much, much stronger uh, unit because it was low on health, effectively. Whereas I was trying to kind of pull it back to my territory once I realize that, yeah, this isn't going my way. The issue here is that for me to get any kind of military unit, I have to sacrifice a population. But I very much don't want to do that now. Let's buy the Artisan's Quarters. Uh, let us go for... Plus two food per farmer, plus one farmer slot. There are no... I'm not really positioning farmers in my territory right now, I don't think. Oh, actually, no, I, I do have one farmer up there, I suppose. Um, let's 
So that would cause this farmer to generate a bit more food. This is by far the better option. It would cost a staggering amount. Hey, Will. Oh, I'm sorry to have worried you, mate. Blaze of the Empire, as your horizons widen, your armies grow in lockstep with your ambitions. Now, with military power spread over several regiments, it is time to decide the na nature of soldiers who compose your armies. Okay. Conscripted warriors will save us the cost of raising soldiers from the crib. Minus 30% on industry cost, or forged from the youngest age, professional warriors will give us stronger armies. Why wasn't this an option before? Scoundrels. Um... I would prefer to have professional warriors than con conscripts. Have I heard of Murphy? Yeah. Uh, it let's does go that. seem logical that people shouldn't have to do a job unless they want to. Exactly. They're going to be close to the point where they already do have a religion. They already have a religion. They're probably not far off getting a religion. Not the best. Come over here. Over this way. Let's get through here. And you, let's see if I can't get back the way, uh, back over to us, going a different route, because at least that will validate having sent the scout out in that direction. But that was such a poor engagement, such a shame. Twelve turns there. Uh, we're going to grow in six turns. It's coming down quickly in terms of its cost, but we're not going to be anywhere near that. Uh, let's have a look. Greetings, Sovereign. Are you with me or against me? Do you You're have any items? To you got tea? I very much wanted to purchase your tea. Plus 2% food per tea. May we enjoy a constructive relationship? You have my ear. Tell me what you've got you wish to discuss. Industry per die. You have got stupid amounts of everything. Money per gemstone, food per sage, food per salt. Ugh. We need to get trade going. We're not going to be able to prevent them from expanding that border at this point. Now, access to marble was bought by Midas. That's uh, okay. You've given me gold, which I needed. Uh, so, the way that this sort of stuff works here is if I were to go into... Um, is there actually a way that I can bring up my resources? Uh, there might not be. Um, but I've got access to this marble. And they are purchasing access to the marble. We both have access to marble. I haven't lost my access because of that. But I don't have any more to trade with anyone else as far as I understand. Though... 
Actually, you know what? I think. No, I think that we do. Uh, like that, uh, I do have to what it to do trade. I, I can't pleasure. be entirely certain. No, I think everyone could trade for that one marble, but that one marble deposit is distinct. Anyone can purchase that one marble, but if I had two marble spots, anyone could purchase two marble off me. Um, yeah, so as a consequence of them purchasing that, they're now also gaining the bonus from that marble. It does work very differently from other games in this genre, so it takes a little bit to wrap your head around and for me to remember, but... I actually find the way that, that trading works in this game far more engaging than in other games. It really emphasizes how important trade is. And now you've met the Mycenaeans. Let's hope relations go well. Their forts are rather formidable. Well. Uh -huh. Let's go introduce Greetings. ourselves. I am called hot-blooded, short-tempered, passionate. All the highest compliments. As long as we are honest and fair, we can do mighty things. I really wish there were more voice actors in this. Because the instances... If you're playing with, like, 10 AI, you are going to hear the same voices several times. Greetings. I am called hot-blooded, short-tempered, passionate. All the highest compliments. As long as we are honest and fair, we can do mighty things. I'm also called the parrot. Or hate at first sight. Let's see how second sight goes. You're a militarist. Favor the use of military power to reach your goals. Risk taking. They tend to engage all of their resources, even if it might create holes in their defenses. Uh, uh, lumberjack, pillager, Russia. They attack others on sight. Hockey. Will we end the day, friends or foes? Here is a proposal to get your heart racing. Sure, I'll take we that. We accept, and we should celebrate the agreement. Uh, they've got porcelain there. Come over here. Mammoth, will you please get out the bloody way? Move go. your big Let's butt. Go. You're taking up too much... Oh, crap. No. Ah. Uh, poop. Retreat! I should have pressed that the last time. I forgot about that. The population's war support against King Beowulf has dropped. Yes, because we've ran away. Like big old cowards. But alive cowards. This is an important, important detail. Off we go. Over this way. Well, how's the, how's the saying go? He who fights but runs away may live to fight another day. Oh yeah, no, it, it does say they attack on site. I just didn't I didn't see them when I was moving into that spot. So Uh oh. Plus founding myths, civics osmosis. Exchange between people of this city and its neighbor has led to your population to demand changes concerning founding myths. Oh. Ah. Twenty turns, we would have minus fifty stability. That would be rough, so rough. Oh, that's annoying. I'm gonna refuse it. We're gonna be stubborn. Be under no illusions. Yours is a foul ideology. You broke your word and my heart. <laughs> I am not happy. I didn't realize we were that close with it, honestly. The way you're talking, my God. Uh, I'm going to refuse, uh, that being said. Demands. This does very little to placate me. Try harder. Hmm. 
I'm not going to let that demand loom. Let's go. Oh, Over no. this way. Uh -huh. I can't retreat this time. Uh, we die is the outcome of this fight. I should have moved them first because they moved in. Oh, well. That was the end to that scout. We we barely got any scouting done. But I do now know that they are neighboring the uh, Mycenaeans. I would so... not put myself in this position if I feared the consequences. Ah. May we enjoy a constructive relationship. That might cause them problems later. Problems that I will enjoy. I am listening. Leveraging against them. I don't have the military to do anything. I'll wait and see where this goes, but. I very much do not. And now I've got to go all the way around here to get back. Very frustrating. Two more turns to a pop growth. Eight turns to the ranch. I would very much like to get an artisan's quarter over here, so I've got another thing that I can trade. I'm kind of desperate to get some military. Oh, really? I can go up there? Oh, I can! Oh, that's a lot easier than I was expecting, actually. Okay, fair enough. I think I'm going to announce in the name of my proud people. All is forgiven. That for now. Whether or not it's forgotten. <laughs> I really couldn't care less. <laughs> That was fantastic, but that was even more hilarious. <laughs> I greatly, greatly approve. I couldn't care less. Oh, damn. Who the heck are you? Oh. Well. Expanding here wouldn't be the worst option in the universe. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to send you down here on the next turn. The Agrarian Harapans. You're as likely to meet their canals and farmers as their soldiers. Oh, hello. An envoy of spying is there. Huh. Not sure why that exists, eh? Uh, hello. This is where I greet you. Impress upon you the wonder of my people? And tell you my ambitions? No? Maybe? <laughs> uh. Right. Hello. We're kind of trespassing, though. I need you 
to head down here. And you need to continue on your way. I will grab this just because it does border that lake and maybe later I can connect there. This whole zone would still border my primary zone. So I'd be able to, in fact, I'd have two lakes bordering it. Not that I can pop my unique building in, in both anyway, but still it's something to do. Next turn I get bronze working. What am I going to do after that? Hmm. Oh. Diplomat ah, diplomatic agents. There we go. That's what we're going to want next then. Very much what we're going to want next. So also automatically create roads between cities and outposts of our empire. Also, getting organized warfare is going to be a big one for us, too. Ah, a city named Belial? How cruel to doom them like that. <laughs> Everyone knows the curse of Belial. It is known amongst the dabblings. What dreadful fate it is to carry the name Belial. I wonder how Belial feels about this. We will soon be able to get animal bonds. Bronze working researched. Watchtower. Forge. Spearman. It's going to allow us to gain access to the copper. Only take me four turns as well. Which is particularly nice. Pass the turn. Pass the turn again. There you are, you scallywags. Bugger off. Okay. We are very much going to want to set up an outpost, I am thinking, either here or here. Let's wander around a little bit, see what we can see. Eight and two, eight and three. Twenty-one turns. Kind of makes sense, actually. 11 turns, 7 turns. It's because we need the uh, manufacturing income in order to generate it. So, annoyingly, that would have been the best place to put it. I should have considered that. Or rather, I should have considered that I can press the found outpost button anywhere and see where the best place would be. Customary laws. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Friendship between the people of this city and our neighbor um, ruler Midas has led your population to demand changing uh, changes concerning the legitimacy of the laws. What's the stability here? I th it's still kind of low, actually, yeah. We could take it, I guess. Wasn't really what I wanted, though, I'm going to be honest. But we're about to create an outpost, so I suppose now is the better time to do it. What do you want? Okay, they now can't descend. They're overwhelming. Yes. That was just letting us know that things have changed, basically. Um. 
Uh, disband the selected unit. Disbanding a unit within the limits of one of your cities to, or outputs will grant one population to it. Honestly, I probably should have done that a while ago. Let's merge them in. Or rather, merge someone else in a little while ago. There we go, let's get that. Now, the copper mine would give us science and more re um, re uh, sorry, um, industrial output. So, definitely worth doing. And, furthermore, we just got a new unit. A new group of warriors. Nice. Uh, should I continue having the scouts out there? Not really, I don't think. Uh, out the problem with outposts is they cost a lot to build. And until they're founded, I can't absorb them. But my one scout can do that. Actually, you know what? How about... Hmm. Warriors would take four turns to train. I could just feed Bilal population for now. Not that we have any jobs for them, really. Oh, actually, no, I do. I do have jobs. I want to focus on growth for now. Let's push growth over gaining money. There's no real reason for that. Um, or I could do expert policy and just force it into into uh, growth. And I probably should have been doing that for a little while. Let's try and drive up my growth. Then I will absorb one of the scouts, but I'll keep my warriors. If I have a look at the scouts... Ignores movement penalties from forest. Yeah, it's not really that big of a deal. Once they've... Once I get down here, I'm just going to have the scouts be absorbed into the population. At that point, Bilal should be on the verge of being able to found a religion, but I strongly suspect the others are already pushing that pretty hard right now. It makes no sense why they wouldn't be. We are definitely behind the the pack in a big way, but that isn't in and of itself a losing scenario. The first time I played this, I think I was massively behind for like two or three eras and then started steamrolling. It's just a matter of building into your um, your particular legacy bonuses. And it takes a while to, to get that kind of snowball effect to kick in, but the fact that our legacy from this empire is going to be we get more resources from having adjacency to like kinds of districts that will definitely snowball, which is why I, I took it as uh, a priority. Yes, sir. The other thing is we could come down here and start getting an outpost down here as well. Uh, four and nine does seem reasonable. Three and 14 seems amazing. Four and thirteen is still amazing. Yeah, let's go for that. Try and get our industrial mic going, because that is ultimately w what we need to do. We'll get more from Builder Stars than anything else. We're on our way towards the second star, though, for 
science. We need to kill more units for the military star. A lot more units. We need one more um, district to get another expansionist star. We need a lot for everything else. Uh, well, agrarian star wouldn't be terrible, but... How would I rate this game on a scale of 1 to 10? Probably a 7 or an 8. Based on, like, only how much I enjoy playing it. If your metric is something very specific, um, like technical or graphical or stuff like that, then it, the scores would probably change, but... Uh, ended a treaty. They downgraded your treaty. Non-aggression pact to tolerate skirmishes. Oh. Oh, really? Greetings, Sovereign. Are you with me? Or against me? Well... Now we cannot bank on them not attacking us. The Empire is mired in tradition and beholden to the past, but no city is more unenlightened than the metropolis of Balal. In this superstitious place, where heresy and myths run wild, farmyard animals are now being put on trial for crimes. After a herd of cattle were sentenced to be burned on a pyre for conspiring against the Empire, one wealthy landowner has had enough. Now he petitions you to intervene. What is your stance on the judgment? Concur. We draw great strength from our religious traditions. The custom of Balal will be respected. Fanatical on Balal for twenty turns. Overturn. The herd can be saved on condition the landowner makes the city a breadbasket for the Empire. Bountiful on Palal for 20 turns. This would give us more uh, collectivism. This would give us more tradition, which would actually upgrade to plus four faith on territory. Or Scorch. It is time Palal became more enlightened. These archaic customs must be swept away. Plus 15 science. Um, Palal, you may... The, 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 the cattle of Bilal may be spared in exchange for food. Much food. So much food. Oh, they have moved, yeah. They gained everything they needed. War has been declared. Damn it, I knew it was coming. Um, okay. Now then, I'm going to need to get you on the march down there as quickly as you can. And you, my friendos, are going to need to get down here because this is the most likely place that they're going to come from. I am no longer going to try and, uh, get rid of them. Instead, I just want to defend here. We tire of your constant search for new ways to offend us. It is war. You speak to me like this, and I laugh. Where was the laugh? What? Okay. More resolution. I can offer white peace. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Um, they're losing some on an ongoing basis, and I'm losing less. Plus 60 from war support, plus 60 from war support when the war started. Plus 81 from war support. I, hmm. I forget how low my war score has to get, but as long as I can win fights, which is much more likely in a uh, defensive war, then the more likely we are to pull their war score down. And then just go for a white piece. I've got no particular grievance to to weigh against. I'm not even really sure what what they're aiming to get. Other than the allowance to attack my troops, I guess. Yeah. 
I want you to go down there next and then head up in this direction. Sovereign. Uh, oh, I can buy the tea. Uh, the base price is 90, but the type of transport you use will change how it moves around. Now, I can go through uh, across the sea. Use land and sea routes, but prefer transport by sea wherever possible. This is cheaper. But harbors and trade ports are vulnerable to ransacking. Or a land route, which goes through territory that we're going to control. It's a little bit more expensive. How much would it be? Two to five. Why does it keep doing that? There we go. Now this is going to go through a route that I largely have control over. Plus two percent food, plus four stability. You come to me with a proposition. Let us see what is possible. Wouldn't mind the saffron, but it's going to be a while before we can go for that. Uh, I'm listening. Don't think there's anything I can get from we you. We welcome this opportunity for or from you. I would not put myself in this position if I feared the consequences. Yeah, actually, not too bad. But I would need World to create a, a treaty to that. Together, thanks to the first trade link that will bring shiny baubles and greedy vendors. Hooray! Greedy vendors, we approve. As long as there are greedy vendors. Okay, acknowledge, 60 gold. Okay. Almost finished with the copper mine. Two more turns. In fact, I might even be able to afford... No, I can't quite afford to get it. We're going to be growing one population in one more turn. And they will immediately go in here. There we are. And that has indeed expanded this out quite a lot. Oh, poop. Uh... Huh. Oh, they're embracing my culture now. Perfect. Um, why are you there? I feel like you shouldn't be, really. I could allow them to move past, but I'm not sure what they're up to. If they were to try and ransack, then I'd just be able to take it. Uh -huh. Like, they wouldn't really be able to get past that. If they were ransacking me, I'd, I'd immediately inter inter uh, intervene. But I will allow them to move past for now. All right, two different spots are now being set up. Oh, that's going to cost a lot for me to attach, but... I have a proposal. Hmm. We are yes, relatively friend. good Say what terms. you wish. I will listen. I'll counter it. Not a yes. More of an... Almost. They've refused. Okay. That doesn't really impact us as much. But I don't want to give you all of this, these maps, because you won't know where these maps are. Now, you'll notice that the uh, the sanctuaries and, like, uh, sanctuaries which were pre previously producing deer and the more violent ones which were previously producing um, predators, they will become the civilization-equivalent barbarians. So these are now an independent people, but they're a uh, a peaceful independent people which is a very important distinction I would very much like that territory if I could take it 
have to see. But let's get you down here for now. An embassy opens elsewhere in the world. Ooh. Precisely the kind of thing an ambassador would know about ahead of time. Foreign war declared. Oh, there we go. Beowulf has declared war. Good. That was something I was hoping for. Not gonna lie. Okay, so let's find out what just happened. Urgent affairs. Fate of the free cities. The world as it ever was, is divided into the rulers and the ruled. Great sprawling empires and proud independent cities. Your struggle is with other empires, but you should not forget the part these free cities can play. Okay. Why let our own blood be spilled when we can pay others to fight? That would move us towards um, plus one combat strength on units. Or, fellow peoples, our empire will become a stronger by opening our arms to new communities. Minus 50% cost of signing treaties with independent peoples, or minus 50% army cost. This would increase food in, on city and outposts. That is definitely what I would prefer. 120 influence, though. Hmm. We'll come back to that. That is not something I want to work on right now. to explore right we have finished our construction I could grab the uh, obsidian now if I wanted to we build watchtowers plus two vision range on garrison or main plaza standing tall over the city watchtowers not only increase vision but also allow nearby soldiers to be better coordinated uh, resource yields would not be affected, blah, blah, blah. Not really what we're looking for right now. Instead, I would prefer to place down a food district. Now, I could place it here, which would get rid of the potential... Um, Resources on that tile, sadly. We're placing it here. We'll turn this two food into seven and this four food into seven. So it's a plus eight if we're placing it there. If I place it over here, though, it's plus six. But it does give me access to two new tiles, which would allow me to spread out in that direction. Right now, I kind of need to get the food coming in as fast as I can. But that ultimately would give me plus 10 by cutting through here. I just don't really feel that's my best call. Like, if I want this, that's definitely the best place to pop it. And maybe this is the better move right now, because I am taking a while to build anything. I think I'm going to pop this thing, yeah. I, I feel that we need a Maker's Quarter sooner than anything else right now. I need to start being able to construct faster. Hail, friend! I have a notion which would benefit uh, us both. No. I'm happy to consider what more we may do together. I'm gonna say no to that. Once again, you should. I'm not gonna trade my copper with you. Not while you're at war. <laughs> I want you to lose it. Uh, as it happens, funny that. Off we go. 
Oh, that is actually a way in. Mm. I hadn't properly noticed that that wasn't a cliff, but was a hill. You've got to be very aware of the... Uh, of the terrain in this, especially the elevations, because it can change everything. Don't want to move you away. I want to keep you close. Uh, I think we're spending the turn there, I'm afraid. You're stuck. You can leave when I let you. Uh, you can skip this turn too. I don't want to get rid of my army, but at the same time, I don't really want my army... I haven't got anything useful for my army to do right now. In fact, I kind of want you to station there for the time being. 